Hi guys and welcome to AFC Curtis. I'm your host Curtis and on today's episode I'm going to give you my point of view of the second wave of CPL signings as well as the biggest news that's really come out of the last two weeks and that is CONCACAF's decision about Ottawa Furies and them not joining the USL in 2019. So all that and more all in this episode but first if you like this episode make sure you hit the like button and if you want to see more content just like this maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button and of course please make sure you share the channel too it really helps me out and the channel grow and us as a community grow for the Canadian Premier League. Now without further ado, here it is. First up here, I'm going to give you the rundown about the Ottawa Fury situation. And just to give you a bit of a timeline, throughout the last year and a half now, it's been kind of rumored that the Ottawa Fury would be joining the Canadian Premier League in 2019 for the inaugural year. But then back in September, Ottawa came out and said, listen, we support the league 100%, but we will not be joining the league until at least 2021, the earliest. And uh, since then, of course, we kind of just thought business as usual. They got sanctioning the play in the USL by both the US and Canada. But of course, the governing body of North American soccer, and that is the CONCACAF, came out just last week and actually stated that they have not sanctioned the Ottawa Fury to play in the USL in the US of A. And so because of that, their, their reasoning why they didn't sanction them is because they're saying, listen, Ottawa Fury is in Canada, it's a Canadian club, and Canada now has a Division One domestic league for 2019. So it doesn't make any, any sense for an, a Canadian team to go down and play in the second division of a, a United States league when they can just stay home in Canada and play in a Division One league. So that's their reasoning. They say that Ottawa Fury, now that they have their own domestic league at home, should stay home and play in that league. I, for one, also agree with CONCACAF's decision. But let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think? Do you think Ottawa Fury, should they be still allowed to play in the USL in 2019? Or should they just be banned and be staying in Canada to play for the Canadian Premier League? Let me know in the section below. The next bit of news I want to share with you guys is the second wave of CPL signings, starting out with York 9 and their first ever international signing, and the league's first ever international signing, Swedish striker Simon Adegi. And the guy actually netted 30 goals in the, in the Swedish second division of soccer just this past season, and has actually played with Brendan or under Brendan in the past with Aurora FC back in League One Ontario back in 2016. And then their second signing ever just happened this couple days ago actually with striker Austin Ricky coming over from Vaughn of the Ontario League as well. The next up here we got Calvary FC who had a busy Wednesday as they announced not one, not two, but four signings, all of them being uh, Calgarians. So they went local there with midfielder Elijah Atakubi, defenders Dominic Zader who played with Calgary Dinos and the Foothills in the past, as well as defender Chris Serbin who has actually had time as well with the Foothills, but also played in the, the Vancouver Whitecaps uh, system there. And of course also Calgarian goalkeeper Marco Carducci who of course also played with the Vancouver Whitecaps through their academy team as well as under 23 team and even play with Canada at the under 17, under 20 and under 23 level. Next we're going to go to Northern Alberta with FC Edmonton's four signings, three of them being former Alberta Golden Bears players with Ajay Cabra as well as we got Alan Zabi's younger brother Bruno Zabi and then we also have Ajij Sakaria, a player who's actually picked 8th overall by FC Edmonton last month in the CPL draft. And finally, their fourth player ended up being Sun Young Chan, a player who actually was in the CPL Open Trials a few months ago, and even has professional experience playing in top countries like the Philippines, as well as Singapore. So four really good young, but also fast uh, players to add to FC Edmonton's already fast team. Next, we're going to finish up here with Valor FC and their three signings, or three latest signings. First being the international striker Stephen Hoyle, who this guy's actually a goal scoring sniping machine. He has 31 goals over 54 matches with New Zealand's Canterbury United, which is where he's coming from. And then their last two signings just ha this happened this past Friday, actually, with two Winnipeggers. The first being goalkeeper Tyson Farhargo, and he recently played four years with FC Edmonton before moving on to Ireland, St. Patrick's Athletic, before coming over. This guy has experience with Canada at the U20 and U23 level. And on top of that, the second 
signing there was also fellow Winnipegger Dylan Sacramento, who the 23-year-old actually played with Vaughn in the League One Ontario last year and helped them win the championship. He had 14 goals and 14 appearances, if you can believe that, is a first-team All-Star in that league and actually won the Men's Division MVP. So three really great signings for Valor FC. Alright guys, I hope you like this video and I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about the Ottawa Fury situation with the whole CONCACAF thing and not playing in the USL and should they play in the CPL next year as well as which one of these latest signings are your favorite. Let me know in the comment section below and of course if you like this video make sure to hit this that like button and if you want to see more content about the Canadian Premier League maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button and I've been going through a lot of momentum here lately with subscribers so I really appreciate it you guys if you share my videos so we can start growing my channel some more that would really help me out and until next time thank you for watching